Hello everyone, this is Michelle Jansi, Assistant Professor from the Department of Management Studies. Today, the topic that I am going to discuss is Corporate Communication from the subject Corporate Communication and Public Relation, which has been included in the TYBMS syllabus. So, the first topic is Foundations of Corporate Communication. So, to see the foundation of corporate communication, let us see what corporate communication is. Corporate communication is a total communication activity generated by a company, a body, institute to its public in order to achieve its planned objective. Basically, corporate communication is a management function which intends in communicating with its internal and external stakeholders. The purpose of communicating with internal and external stakeholders is to build a reputation and a loyalty among the stakeholders towards the organization. Why is there a need for corporate communication? So here are a few points which I would like to discuss. The first one is it helps in strategy implementation. As strategy is being formulated by the top management along with the lower level and middle level executives, but it is being implemented by the employees. So if the management wants the employee to implement the strategy as per his expectation, it needs to be communicated effectively. So corporate communication helps in strategy implementation. Second is helps in client development. Here client refers to customers. So if you want to increase your customer base, it's very important to communicate your business processes to your customers, your business development, your future prospects, your vision, your mission needs to be communicated through advertisements, through marketing efforts put in by the organization. The third one is it helps in sales enhancement, which means it helps in increasing the sales base. So it's very important to communicate and market your company's products and services, which in turn will help in increasing the demand amongst the customers, which will help in sales enhancement of the organization. Next helps information development and dissemination. So it is important to Develop the information which uh, for the organization is being made possible through sources like media relation, public affairs, which helps us the which helps in disseminating the information to a mass number of public. Next, we are going to talk about the key concepts in corporate communication. So these are the three major functions of corporate communication, corporate identity, corporate image, corporate reputation. Though the three look alike, but the meaning is completely different. So corporate identity, according to Olin's, corporate identity is a tangible manifestation of the personality of a company. It is the identity which reflects and projects the real personality of the company, which means in simple words, the effort put in by the organization to create a recognition for the organization is called corporate identity here are some of the examples of corporate identity the uniforms of staffs the calendars printed with the institution or organization's name the identity cards the calendars printed with organization's name the letterheads so these are the examples of corporate identity next is corporate image. So corporate image as defined by Albert and Wayton, an image lies in the eyes of those who receive them. Corporate image refers to the way a company is perceived based on a certain message and at a certain point in time. Basically, it means the effort put in by the organization to create a favorable image for the firm in the eyes of its stakeholders. So for the effort, uh, to create a positive and favorable image for the organization, these are the uh, sources which help the organization. First is the physical appearance, which we just discussed, that's corporate identity. The tangible manifestation, like the staff's appearance, the infrastructure, the paintings of the organization, the logos, etc. An advertisement, which is a paid form of promotion, which intends in creating a favorable image for the organization, wherein the message is being articulated by the marketers of the organization, which helps in creating a favorable image. Next is sponsorship. It's as a corporate social responsibility, an organization intends in sponsoring events like um, cultural, sports, um, sponsoring of uh, old age homes, sponsoring to a old age home, then for um, orphan children. So these needs to be communicated to the 
uh, public as well through informing with the help of media by informing to the audiences and the last one is managing of public's expectation here public refers to the stakeholders the stakeholders expectation towards the organization is different as a customer the expectation of the customer is to get a, a quality product at a reasonable price as a shareholder the expectation is fair practice and you know fair account financial statement to be communicated so when an organization makes an attempt in fulfilling all the requirements of the stakeholders that in turn helps in creating a favorable image for the firm the last identity or the last uh, component is corporate reputation so as formrin Uh, defines corporate reputation as a perceptual representation of a company's past actions and future prospects that describes the firm's overall appeal to all of its key constituents when compared to other leading rivals so as we had just saw the image of the company is the effort put in by the organization or the message given by the organization about its company to create a favorable image here reputation is not built in a day's time the effort the continuous effort of a company helps in building the reputation of the firm and this reputation becomes an advantage for the organization like it helps in attracting new talents it helps in attracting potential investors it increases the sales play, base it increases the client uh, base and it also helps in achieving the organizational objectives with this we end the session thank you everyone